Hello YouTube, Mesabim is here with another video. As you may notice that I actually changed the name of the channel to Revit Logic because I was thinking that uh, Mr. Beam is maybe is a little bit difficult to find because whenever you're searching Mr. Beam, you will find Mr. Bean. So I decided to change the channel, but I'm still the Mr. Beam. But the channel's name is Revit Logic, at least maybe for now. So for today, I have a cool thing for you to show. Um, as you can see, this is a, a damper wall. And this damper wall is actually for a real project. We issued that uh, for construction and there is a 3D view of that here. So first of all, I want to just type VV to go to the Revit links and on the Revit links on visibility, we have um, a Revit link for BES. I'm going to um, check its visibility. I want it also half done. If I click on apply, <coughs> you will see that um, some linked element will be appeared. And also I want to see the BMS and existing structure which is called XCN1. If I click on apply, you can see the existing structure and also the dampers. Um, so if I highlight the wall, you can see that it's the same wall. And we are going to, to this section, which is on sheet 434. That section DWS 15 is this section DWS 15. So actually it's a beam which is here. So if I cut the 3D there, you will see it. So that orientation is actually in this orientation. So I'm going just to show you how it looks like. So exactly this section. So this one is act uh, is actually acting like a beam. So I'm going to just going to uh, hold the control and uh, hitting on the Z to have a, an undo, and another one to another undo to back to the the whole 3D. So actually, um, I just wanted to talk with you guys about one thing and also show you how to create uh, another detail item for our um, um, drawings. So first of all, I can see that this N16 is every 150. But if the engineer asked me to change this from N16 bars to every 200, so that means the spacing between the bars should be maximum 200 for now is maximum 150 if i just measure it um, you will see that this one is 141 that is okay so the thing is if i want to change this one to 200 i cannot do that because the draft has just put them stand alone bars like a reinforcement bar dot so how can i do that so it would be very difficult because I have to measure them. I have to just, I don't know, hand calculations or whatever you call. So I want to create a 2D family for this one. So I can sketch it as a line, <coughs> a line based family, uh, just tapping here and tapping there and just specifying the, the maximum spacing. And that's it. But even as you can see, I mean, they are not even aligned. If I type AL and picking this line, you will see that this bar will move. It's not aligned. So I really, really surprised. And it just, it's just frustrating. Just, just please don't do that. Just always use the, the families because next person coming, um, it just makes the, life easier to work with the um, with the changes because to be honest this project every section maybe at least changed five times something like that the whole design maybe even changed ten times 
so as you can see i mean the drawing will also look better so at least you can just align align this rebar with the the other one to make it look better but anyway okay first of all we are going to just create a stand alone just reinforcement like a dot and then we are going to create a line based and maybe even even we can just create these lines because these are just a bunch of lines to a uh, Revit 2D family which is parametric and we can just cut a section another section here and just detail it by ourselves so let's get started let's go to the file I'm going to new and family let's go to the English folder and looking for metric detail item and let's open it so it's very simple for this one I'm just going to uh, create a field region and I'm going to edit type for this field region and I'm going to just duplicate it to change it to just a, a black field region so let's type its name black clicking on OK so foreground field pattern would be solid field and the color is black and black and just hitting on OK so let's go with the circle on the draw and pick the center line and let's just sketch it uh, let's go with uh, something like um, 15 and just we can click on finish edit mode so I'm hitting the escape to cancel any current command I'm going to change this scale to 1 to 1 for now um, clicking on the field region I'm going to edit boundary and I'm typing di for dimension then I'm going for the diameter then I'm going just hover my mouse on the uh, perimeter and I'm clicking this line you can see the dimension is there which is 30 di diameter right now I'm hitting the escape on selecting the dimension so as you can see I want to just assign a label we don't have a current uh, label to assign so we are going to create a parameter for it the parameter would be a type for this one because I want to just have different types for different um, bar size so I would just call it DIA for diameter and I will just click on OK so for now this is enough I'm going to just click on finish edit mode and that's it let's test this uh, family I'm going to do the family types and I will change this diameter to 10 click on apply change it to 20 click on apply so how about I'm creating uh, new types so I will call this one n12 and hitting on ok I will change this one to 12 hitting the apply another type n16 clicking on ok changing this diameter to 16 clicking on the new type n20 ok I will change diameter to 20 and let's create another n24 clicking on ok and diameter 24 so for now I will just use this n12 16 20 and 24 because they are the most used uh, rebars in the uh, entire project so mostly just n12 or n16 or n20 um, so I'm going just uh, click on OK and let's save this family I'm going just to save it as um, reo dot underline mr. beam and I'm gonna, going to just have an option for maximum one recovery and I'm going to save it let's load it to the project 
so I'm going to uh, this sheet because we have the, the section and let's go to annotate and component so you can see reo dot mr beam is there right now is n12 let's just click it here hitting the escape so this one is n16 as you can see n16 and the 150 each face I'm going to click on this one I'm going to change this one to the n16 as you can see the size is same but I'm guessing that that maybe there is a problem with this family let's just go and on, on the edit family and just checking that uh, the line type is okay um, let's edit the boundary so it's still a detail item um, I think it's okay let's uh, finish the edit mode and yeah, that's it we can just actually close it without saving because we didn't actually change anything okay um, so we have our family just keep this one then uh, on the next video we are going to just create a line based um, uh, reinforcement bar uh, which is uh, not which is which is not uh, like a, a line it would be like a, an array so the other thing I wanted just just to talk about is if you click on this family you will see that its parameter is radius if you go to the edit type I can see that okay its parameter is radius sorry its, par its parameter is a diameter here and there is a um, radius on the as an instance here but it's locked so I'm a little bit surprised that why we even should see radius here because we, we already have the diameter and it's, it's, its name is n16 anyway so this this uh, parameter is an instance parameter it's just for for um, uh, just for showing so it's not doing anything it's locked but in our new family so that one is row dot mr bean is n16 um, you can't see any information here you only can see it on the edit, edit type which is this diameter um, maybe we can just add it to here also so let's go to the edit family so what we can do we can go to the edit types um, let's create another parameter which is instance I will just call it diameter um, let's say let's type it like that and this is equal to diameter and it will be locked so I will just lock it and let's click on OK and let's just load it to the project let's click on yes and yes and let's override this the existing version so which is this one so now we can see the diameter is 16 and if I change this type to n12 it will change its size and also it shows the diameter as a 12 so this is the end of this video and thank you so much for watching